Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 16 of Linear Algebra. In today's class, we are going to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors using example. In last class, that means lecture number 15, we have discussed the concept and the application uses of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We have discussed the theory behind it. And in today's class, we are going to calculate the eigenvalue and eigenvector. Fine. So we have discussed the definition. Even we have done the mathematical calculation, right? And we got the characteristic equation. Fine. In today's class, we are going to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors using this example. Okay. Here is the matrix given to us. This matrix is A and we can see that this is 3 cross 3 matrix. Fine. No. So the order of matrix is 3 cross 3. Okay. So what is the first step? We are going to build the characteristic equation. Okay. Using this given matrix and what we have discussed, what is the characteristic equation? This is determinant of A minus lambda I equals 0 and then we will find the roots of this characteristic equation and the roots of characteristic equation that is lambda that is only my eigenvalues of given matrix fine no okay so how many eigenvalues will be there so it depends on the order of the matrix fine if this is 3 cross 3 matrix then we will be having three roots of the given equation that means three eigenvalues will be there fine but those eigenvalues can be same or can be distinct. So in this class, we have taken the example where the roots of this characteristic equation will be distinct. Okay, that means all eigenvalues will be different. In next class, we are going to take the example where the roots of characteristic equation will be same. So in that case, how we will be finding out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors that will be seen. Okay. Okay, fine. Once we have got the eigenvalues, the third step will be what? We will form the system of equation. Okay. And the fourth and the last step will be what? Based on those different eigenvalues, we will be finding the eigenvectors. Fine. So based on eigenvalues, the corresponding eigenvectors we will be finding here. Okay. So we'll be seeing step by step. So very first step is what? Build the characteristic equation. Okay. So this is the determinant of A minus lambda I equals 0. And how we have built this characteristic equation? Everything we have explained in the last class only. So how we have got it, right? So we can see here, this is the given matrix A. And we have to first find A minus lambda I. And then we have to take the determinant of this matrix and we have to equate it with 0. So very first thing is what? A is the given matrix right now. Fine. And this lambda is my eigenvalue which I have to calculate. And this I is what? I is identity matrix. Fine. No. This 0 is what? This is 0 vector. So what is my I here? I here is I3. That means what? Identity matrix of order 3. Why this is I3? Because the given matrix is the square matrix where square matrix has three rows and three columns. Okay, so how I am going to write I3? Identity matrix will have one on its diagonal only and all other places it will be having zero only. Right, I3 will be having three rows and three columns. Okay, so this is my I3. So here is the I. Now, next step is what? I am going to multiply lambda in this identity matrix. So how it will look? This is what? This is called as scalar multiplication. Fine, no. The scalar multiplication and all we have discussed. How to multiply lambda in this identity matrix? Scalar multiple will be what? Lambda will actually get multiplied in all places. So that means what? If I am writing down here lambda into i, it will be what? It will be lambda into 1 will be lambda. Then lambda multiplied by 0 will give you 0. Fine. Again here 0. Then lambda multiplied by 1 will give you lambda and then 0. Again, these two places are 0 and lambda multiplied by 1 will give you lambda. Fine. So this is what you can see that all those diagonal places instead of 1 you are having lambda. Okay, no. Then next step is what you are going to subtract A and this lambda I. Okay. So how I am going to do it? A is what? 8 minus 6, 2 and then minus 6, 7, minus 4 and 2 minus 4 3 okay and then you are subtracting lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 
zero zero lambda fine that means you are subtracting these two matrices that means what you are doing you are subtracting on each places those two values right now eight minus lambda then minus six minus zero will give you minus six only two will be as it is only the diagonal places you will get the differences fine no because minus six minus zero will give you again minus six and then seven minus lambda fine no so seven minus lambda similarly it is as it is minus four two will be as it is minus four will be as it is and then three minus lambda okay so this is your final matrix which is your a minus lambda i okay but you don't have to do these many steps fine no just to show you that how this is coming i have done these many things you just be sure that a minus lambda i will give you what only on the diagonal places you have to subtract the lambda fine all other places the matrix will have the same values fine no so this is only what is written here okay now the characteristic equation is what whatever you have got determinant of that matrix you have to write down and that we have to equate with zero so this is what i am going to find out the determinant of this characteristic equation fine so how to find the determinant of characteristic equation this is what you can take this first row 8 minus lambda okay and then since you have taken this one so ignore this column ignore this row and then do the multiplication in this fashion okay you must be knowing these all things right now this is what i am doing 7 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda and then minus and then minus 4 into minus 4 will give you something now we are going to consider this minus 6 okay so if i am going to consider minus 6 so what i have to do here i am going to put the sign minus fine no this first column is having sign plus this is minus this is plus everything we have discussed fine now this minus 6 is what since you are considering this minus 6 so this row and this column you are going to ignore you are just going to do the multiplication in this fashion okay that means what minus 6 into 3 minus lambda then minus in between and then 2 into minus 4 fine and then what i am going to do now i am going to consider this 2 so this will be having sign plus so plus 2 and then since you are considering this 2 then i have to ignore this row and then i have to ignore this column right now and then i have to do the multiplication in this fashion okay so this is what minus 6 into minus 4 fine and then minus 2 into 7 minus lambda okay and that equals 0 and the very next step is here only fine the same thing we have done here and then we have expanded it okay fine so this is 8 minus lambda and then we have done the multiplication and everything is done here and then we have got finally this equation and then we are simplifying it with the negative sign so this is lambda cube minus 18 lambda square plus 45 lambda equals 0 fine so you can see that the highest power is 3 that means 3 roots are coming okay fine so 1 lambda is common we have taken this as common so this is your lambda square minus 18 lambda plus 45 equals 0 and then you have got here lambda lambda minus 3 lambda minus 15 equals 0 that means 3 roots which you have got they are 0 3 and 15 so these 3 values are only the 3 eigen values of given matrix A okay so as we discussed that in this class we are going to see those questions where we have distinct lambda values next class we will be taking the example where the lambda will be same then how we will be proceeding okay so since we have got the eigen values our third step is what we are going to form the system of equation fine so how to form this system of equation so this is a minus lambda i matrix very first column is with respect to x variable this is with respect to y variable and this is with respect to z variable so 8 minus lambda into x minus 6 into y plus 2 into z equals 0 similarly for three rows we have done the formation okay okay fine now we are going to find the eigen vectors corresponding to eigen values so we have got three eigen values fine no 0 3 and 15 okay so we will be considering the case one when my lambda is 0 okay in case 1 what we are going to do we are taking the lambda value as 0 then we are substituting 0 in those lambda places okay so it will be what 8x minus 6y plus 2z equals 0 then minus 6x plus 7y right because lambda is 0 minus minus 4z equals 0 
then 2x minus 4y plus 3z equals 0 because lambda is 0. Okay, so three equations we have got. Now we have to solve these three equations so that we will get the values of x, y and z. Okay, so to solve this system of equation, we are going to use the rule of cross multiplication. Okay, because that will be much easier. So how to do cross multiplication? For that you just consider above two equations these two equations are not same for sure we are going to take the cross multiplication on these two equations so for that what i'm going to write i'm going to write here x okay the first variable is x so x divided by what for that you are going to ignore these two coefficients 8 and minus 6 and you are going to consider this minus 6, 2, 7 and minus 4, these four coefficients, okay? Okay, so you are going to write in this determinant form, okay? Now, fine. Similarly, you are going to write for y also. But with y, we are going to put the sign minus. As we said that the very first column is with respect to plus sign. The second row is with respect to minus sign. And the third row is with respect to plus sign. This is minus y, okay? And then and then divided by in the determinant form i am going to consider this 8 minus 6 and 2 and minus 4 i am going to ignore these two coefficients that means 8 and then 2 and then minus 6 and minus 4 i am writing down okay now equals z here i am going to consider plus sign fine so z okay so z divided by in the determinant form i am going to now ignore this 2 and minus 4 and I'm going to consider 8 minus 6 minus 6 and 7 okay so 8 minus 6 and then minus 6 and and then minus 6 and 7 and I'm just equating it with some constant which is k okay and then what I'm going to do this is what x divided by the same fashion I'm going to do the multiplication minus 6 into minus 4 then minus 7 into 2 okay Similarly, minus y divided by what? The same fashion. Okay, so this is what? 8 into minus 4. Fine. And then minus 6 into 2. And then similarly, z divided by 8 into 7. Fine. No. And then minus, right? And then minus, minus 6 into minus 6. Okay. And this equals k. Okay. And then we have got these values. That means x divided by 10 y divided by 20 and then z divided by 20 so be careful this minus sign must have got cancelled with here minus sign okay so this is y divided by 20 then you can just cancel out the zeros okay so this is what x by 1 equals y by 2 equals z by 2 and that equals k that means x equals 1k y equals 2k and z equals 2k okay and this x, y, z is only the column vector which is the eigen vector or in the row fashion this will be x, y, z. This will only be your eigen vector. Eigen vector corresponding to this lambda 0. Okay. But what does it mean? What is this k? So basically this k is any arbitrary constant which I can write any numerical value. Okay. But not 0 fine so if i am just putting k as 1 so for simplicity x y z will give you what 1 2 and 2 fine no if k is 1 so it will be 1 this will be 2 into 1 similarly if you are putting k as 2 so it will be what it will be 2 4 4 what is the relation of eigen vector with eigen value so so basically matrices can have more than one eigen vector sharing the same eigen value that means corresponding to lambda equals 0, you can have infinitely more eigenvectors. You can put k as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, minus 1, anything, okay? Fine. That means logically matrices can have more than one eigenvector sharing the same eigenvalue. But the converse is not true. That means an eigenvector can have more than one eigenvalue is not true. Are you getting it? So you can say that 1, 2, 2 or maybe 2, 4, 4, or maybe 3, 6, 6, you can say that they all are actually one eigenvector with the scalar multiple. If k is 2, then 2, 4, 4, you are getting, okay? If k is 3, then you are getting 3, 6, 6. k is the scalar multiple of the first vector, okay? So, k is the scalar multiple of first vector. 
so it all depends how you are relating it so case 1 is done case 2 will be what in case 2 you are going to put lambda equals 3 and then you are going to find the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equals 3 that means instead of 0 right you are going to put the value of lambda as 3 Okay, in this system of equation, you just substitute lambda with three, and then find the three different set of equations. Okay, fine. So this is what this is case two when lambda is three. So three different sets of equations you have got, and then you are going to find the cross multiplication. This column will be with respect to plus sign with minus sign and then plus sign. So so here it will be what x divided by. You will be considering these four coefficients. That means minus six to four minus four. Then equals minus y. Find no minus y, and then divided by. You are going to now put in this form. This will be your five minus six. Find no, and then it will be two, and then minus four. Okay, and similarly you will be writing down with respect to z also. Okay, so finally you will be getting here x by sixteen equals y by eight. Then z by minus sixteen equals k k one k two anything right? Any arbitrary name you can give. so you can make it little more simpler it will be x by 2 equals y by 1 equals z by minus 2 fine no you are dividing it with 8 okay and then it will be your k okay so here the eigen vector will be the column vector where x y z you have to write and then x y z will be what 2 1 minus 2 or in the row fashion you can write 2 1 minus 2 okay Okay, so this two one minus two is there. If you are considering k equals one, if you are considering k equals two, three, four, so it will be multiple of that k. Okay, so you can see here this is two one minus two, and then fine. So because we are considering k equals one, similarly for case three, same way we are just putting lambda equals fifteen, and we are getting three new equations. and then we are going to solve this system of equation with the cross multiplication method okay and then we are going to relate it with some other arbitrary constant and then for simplicity we will be considering this k3 will be 1 so in that case you will be getting here x by 2 y by minus 2 fine no this minus sign is there and z by 1 because you are making it simpler okay and then you got the set of x y z as the eigen vector Corresponding to lambda equals 15. Okay, so this is the simplest eigen vector with lambda equals 15. So this way we calculate the eigen values and eigen vectors of given matrix. If you think that you are just going to show the case one only in your exam, so it is not sufficient. If you have three eigen values, then you have to show all three cases of your eigen vectors. Okay, fine. So if you find this class useful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.